Hi, my name is Onza and welcome back to the ninth episode of New Manchester, a city skyline series where I build an American city with debatable levels of accurate of historical and factual accuracy. So, in this episode, I will be building the town of Northern Junk Junction. I already built some roads and two stations, a train station, well, the end station for the trains, a terminus, and a cargo station for the trains to basically for the cargo trains because I want to have some industry here because the demand when I look at demand master it shows 74 which is a lot I think that's the vanilla demand when you start the city probably but Yeah, that means we need to build something in here and I'm going to start with the industry. I already laid out the road plan so it's going to be much easier and again it's going to be just some light industry. because it's probably the best looking for this area so the goals for this episode are to probably build most of this town and probably maybe do some starting work on the university town i haven't named i don't have a name for it yet but i think it's going to be the first name which will be decided by the community by you which means you can pick a name and yeah stick your comments down below and you can and you will be in you can basically make a suggestion for this area, but please no profanity and no inappropriate stuff. Because I don't want to get glassed by YouTube. So yeah. I have to make this industry kind of interesting, so I will again add some container yards which are vanilla industry and it's probably one of the few types of industry which is not that bad looking but some of the vanilla buildings look terrible but not all i will definitely be adding some of these small buildings because they are really interesting and I want to have something like silos and power generators and other facilities. It would probably even make sense for this area because it could be something like the maintenance for the station or something. So I will even pave it out with concrete, but not fully. And also I will add a substation if I can find it, or maybe this brick powerhouse. How much it makes? 120. Or this building. I think this is enough for the time being. Yeah, 
I have not built yet a single proper power thingy. Yeah, I'll get rid of this and I will only keep this small facility but nothing else because I could put something in there later. Maybe something... Oh, this would be interesting. Basically some buildings just to fill it. Some tiny industry. So, yeah. All the time lapse will now begin and... I'll... You... And... In live play next episode. So, yeah. The time lapse begins now. So, after some thinking I did what should I build, I decided to just add, as I said, some light industry. I think I said it. And after I added light industry, I thought about adding something more to fulfill the demand. And I realized, wait, there is a giant forest. So I basically built a forestry industry thing. Which means I now have a surplus of forestry production. And yeah, if you haven't noticed, I don't have the industries DLC and yeah, I don't have some DLCs, but I might get it. But for now, the speci specialization industry is enough for my detailing purposes. And so, I built it in a part of hill. And I, thirst I first thought about just putting it on normal ruler. God damn it, that word is so hard to pronounce. Rule rural roads but then I decided to put it on mud roads because paved roads in forests are not that you know how should I say it? yeah paved roads in forests are pretty rare unless it's a important road you may see like a gravel road or some other kind of road but not really paved road because that's mostly well I'll use for example Czech Republic as a as an example it's a bad example but it'll work and in here the roads are yeah, in many forests if there are roads because the wood is being mined, yeah. We call it chopping wood, mining wood, because we have some really large amounts of forests on the north, mainly in the mountainous parts. So, for example, if it's like if the forest road connects some towns, it may be like, yeah, if it connects some villages and those two villages are larger than these roads will be paved because it helps them both. But that mostly happens if it's like one of a few roads that connects the villages. It's usually like there is one larger road that connects villages and one or more smaller. So yeah, I think I might actually make the next series based on, you know, Czech Republic. I could explain a lot of things about my country. So, 
now what I'm doing I'm adding a uh, downtown because also commercial demand must be met and I tried adding some buildings but most of the buildings I have I already used in the center of the city or are too big I might actually try to densify the downtown of the main city but I don't know so I also added some offices because you know offices for some weird reason in this game count as industry so yeah I also tried merging these buildings and that didn't work so I just added some random offices and shops around the city and that kind of worked I think yeah I added also some gas stations and yeah now I'm building the suburb or suburb it's more like a low density part it's kind of even getting rural and again I have the city set up in like you know arches or rings and there is a part which is more urban than suburban and then rural well this town not like but because the whole city is built like how should I say just put random towns all over it and it'll work and since this city has some issues with not enough capacity for things like death care and I think even weight disposal I had to and education so yeah I had to supply these things f for each town each town has to have like a school a small police station and a fire station and maybe a clinic but yeah if you enjoyed this video give it a like put your comments down below I need ideas for the city and I also like your feedback and I'll see you when the next one bye